We are supposed to seek God. But I want you to understand this. The very first question that God had and that God posed to man, to human, to God's race was, where art thou? To the entire world, be blessed and stay phenomenal. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the endowment of the Holy Spirit, Father. We thank you for Jesus and the words of comfort that Jesus gave to us, Father. 2,000 plus years later, Father, our faith and our belief in Jesus Christ, the Nazareth, Father, in the living words that he spoke, Father, about you, God, and how you love us and how you are here to protect us and how you are here to guide us, Father, and how we are supposed to love each other and believe that we are one race, God's race, the human race, Father. We thank you, Father, for blessing us with the Holy Spirit, Father, touching us every single day, Father. We thank you, Father, for that Holy Spirit endowing us, Father, with countenance, Father. We thank you for that Holy Spirit blessing us, Father, with spiritual righteousness, Father. We thank you for that Holy Spirit, Father, guiding us on our daily steps, Father, in our journey, Father. We thank you for allowing us to be that vessel, Father, that the Holy Spirit uses, Father. For the Holy Spirit is the comforter that Jesus spoke about, Father, and we believe these things in the words of Jesus Christ. In that name we pray, Jesus Christ the Nazarene, by the power of the Holy Spirit, God, we pray and we thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Know every day the Holy Spirit is here to give you comfort and guidance. Never, ever doubt. The power of the Holy Spirit, our ancestors were anointed with cloven tongues of fire. And keep this in your mind, you are anointed with cloven tongues of fire. No one can touch you, no one can stop you. Remember, if you spell devil backwards, you have the word lived. The devil is dead. Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, has killed Satan. He has killed the devil. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. The Holy Spirit spoke these words. Pay attention. Keep your mind open because the Holy Spirit is here to guide you and give you countenance in the name of Jesus Christ. God is here. The Holy Spirit is here. Jesus is here, right here, right now, living through us. We are the body of God. We are the church. We are that temple. We are that rock. We are. Our mind is God's computer. You think about this. You can have a thought about someone and they call you. They could be across the world. You can think about someone and they text you. You think on that. That is the power of the human mind and the Holy Spirit resides within us. No one can take that away from us. When we are born, we inhale. That is the Holy Spirit entering into God's temple, which you are made in the image and the likeness of God. And you keep in mind, the Holy Spirit moved across the waters and your body is made up of what? How much water is your body made up of? And how much water does your body retain? You think on these things. Every single breath you take is a breath of the Holy Spirit. And we all breathe the same air. All of our hearts beat. All of our eyes blink. We don't have to ask these things because that is the gift of life. That is the Holy Spirit. That is God. That is Jesus Christ in motion, in action. And there is a book in the Bible and it is called Acts. And all God is asking us to do is act. Be diligent. Because think on these things. It says, seek and ye shall find. We are supposed to seek the Lord. We are supposed to seek God. But I want you to understand this. The very first question that God had and that God posed to man, to human, to God's race was, where art thou? So that should tell you that God was already seeking us before we ever thought to seek God. That is how much love and care and passion, hallelujah, that God has for us as the human race, that God's very first question to human beings, to man, to God's creation was, where 
art thou. Hallelujah, the Holy Spirit is with you right now. You think on this. The very first question was, where art thou? God is seeking you. As you seek God, God seeks you. All you must do, I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ is the savior of the world. I believe that Jesus Christ was here from the beginning and saved us all. All of us. If you believe in your heart of hearts that Jesus Christ died for your sins and that Jesus Christ is the savior of this world created by God. You are saved. The Holy Spirit is here to give you countenance every single day. You don't need a pastor to tell you these things. You need not counseling of the next. All you need is the counseling of the Holy Spirit because you as an individual must find God for yourself. You as an individual must seek out God because God is seeking you out because when you leave this plane of earth, it will only be you and God. Your friends know, your family members know, they will not be side by side with you. It will only be you. I am not a pastor. I am not a preacher. I did not go to any schools for religious studies. I am not ordained by any human being. I am simply a host, a messenger for God in the name of Jesus Christ, by the way of the power of the Holy Spirit. That is who I am and that is what I do. Be blessed and stay phenomenal.